Hello YouTube! <laughs> Alright, I know this doesn't look like much to most people, but for me it's kind of a big accomplishment. Believe it or not, I have the uh, rice cooker cooking. It is fully finished cooking. This is plugged in, but off, even though there's power to it. And I don't know if you can hear the air conditioning. It is totally running, and the computer's up with internet access. I'm dealing with YouTube videos right now. I don't know if you can hear the noise. There is a little bit of a rumble. That is the gas generator running the electrical system right now. My computer here got fried, so evidently putting things on the generator, even off the inverter, is not good. <laughs> it can fry your electronic devices, which it fried my computer here, which was only a $15 computer, but still it sucked. So I'm probably going to have to get a, uh, some kind of regulator or something that I've seen them use at the RV parks, but for now I'm taking a chance by running things on it. Anyhow, I do have the air conditioning running. It is the overhead, I guess about 10,000 BTU or more unit running off a 2800 watt, 2600 watt generator. I did have the 300 watt rice cooker running and everything was fine and all this other additional power stuff. Although when I tried to run the switch on the um, battery converter, you know, the power converter that converts 120 volts to 12 volts to charge the vehicle battery bank, it was blowing the circuit. So I don't know what was up with that. Maybe it just needed to warm up. But for now, we're going to leave it off. So right now, the system is not charging up other than through solar, which is a 25-watt solar panel. But um, what I'm getting ready to do is actually unplug the rice cooker because it is done cooking. That will remove, when, when it's on low mode, it's running at about 80 watts. That will remove 80 watts off the system because I'm going to attempt to try to run this. Although I should probably shut the computer off because this can crash and fry my um, my hard drive. So I'm gonna shut the power of the computer off for now. And that way, um, this way, I'll leave the power on for everything, but this way at least the hard drive won't, um, won't get fried. Because what I'm gonna attempt to do is cook the hamburger meat in here, making hamburger steak using this Cuisinart that I picked up that somebody was tossing out. So, I'm going to try to make a hamburger steak on this thing. Because it is a convection oven. The red one that I had worked fine. But this one, I think, is a little bit a better one. So, I swapped them out. And we're going to try it out right now. It, I think it said it was 1,300 watts. So, I will, leave, I will leave that on right now. Try to bring the computer on later. But I'm going to try to run this and leave the air conditioning on. And see if that works. This is pulling some power, too. But not that much. So we're going to see if we can get this to work right now, and if it can work, then I am golden. That means I can cook and eat. I mean, I can cook and chill and have cold air conditioning. The AC is not on high mode, it's on low mode, but it should be good enough. So without further ado, let's go ahead and try this out and see what happens. All right, here then are our hamburger patties. Originally I was going to try to make some uh, hamburger helper. But I didn't have the lasagna that I like. All that I had was this cheese one, which I will make one day, but not now. Mac and cheese. I didn't want to make that. So, I have to buy some more hamburger helper. But for now, we're just going to make hamburger steak. You know, basically just going to cook the hamburger as I would season and flavor steak, which is just taking the hamburger meat and just putting it on here like that. And what we're going to do is basically just season it the same way I season all my meats. I know it seems like I don't do much different, but I, I like the way the food comes out, you know? To me, it tastes great. So, I use the same ingredients all the time. I use badia, of course. So, we're just going to pour some badia liberally all over everything. Lots of badia. The body has salt in it, so that's why you never see me really using salt. I think it even has some MSG. I have some minced onion, which is about out. I don't know what is the difference between minced and chopped. So the minced onion is all used up now. And we got some chopped onions here. This is chopped onions. But to me, chopped onions look just like the minced onions, so I'm not sure what the difference is.
And then to enhance the flavor a little bit, we are going to pull on, pour on a little bit of um, Kikkoman soy sauce, just a little bit. You can see I don't even soak everything. All right, now I think what I'm going to do is flip everything over and do the same on the other side so that I don't have to uh, worry about seasoning it. So we're going to take the we're going to take the hamburger meat and just flip it. By the way, this hamburger is still semi-frozen. Hasn't completely thawed out yet. Alright, so we got the hamburger meat. I'm going to put some body on it. Give it that saltiness. Then some uh, minced or chopped onions. So we're just going to pour this on here. There is a chance I'll blow the circuit when I run this thing because this uh, convection oven, it's a convection toaster oven, is high draw as far as energy wise. But I'm pushing the limits, I'm testing it out right now. And if it blows the circuit, what I'll have to do is turn on the oven and turn off the air conditioner. I know in the RV, in the RV, when I was running the red one, I had to turn off the. Um, the AC when I was using the power from shore power so there's a chance it'll blow there's a high probability it'll blow but I'm gonna push it so we're gonna put this into the oven and let's look at the setting here I think I'm gonna set it to let's see 350 degrees and we're gonna set it on convection and and everything's plugged in make sure nothing's touching it's gonna melt <laughs> and we're gonna try to turn it on so let's see what happens it's got like a timer but it doesn't have minutes so this is gonna take me a little bit of a guess but I'm gonna try it and of course we blew the circuit so I can see this is not gonna work you can see the monitor went off all circuits have been blown so I kind of knew it would do that. <laughs> I'm like, well, if you knew it, why did you do that? I had to see. Okay, um, now I know I can't do that. So I actually need to turn off the air because if I turn everything on all at once, it's gonna blow again. So we're gonna shut this off. I'm gonna set this off. It is still on low. I'm gonna make sure everything is off right now. Everything is off. And, and see, that's why I turned the computer off. I didn't want it frying my, my hard drive. Hopefully it didn't fry the computer. Circuit blew out here on the generator. So, there's a little circuit breaker right here. I'm gonna flip that on. Circuit breaker is back on. And you can see that's the RV power, uh, the adapter and then the cable for the RV power that goes inside the RV. It's the same power system that you would plug in if you were um, at an RV park or a mobile home and they had an RV hookup. So I know now that I cannot run the air conditioner even on low mode with the, the oven. So I'm going to leave that off for now and see that the TV's back on, computer is still off. We're going to, this is back on. We're going to try this again. You can hear the generator there struggling. I'm going to put it here. I'm going to put it halfway and see what it does. So it's down there and running right now. I don't know if you can see that. It's a little bit out of focus. But we have it on uh, convection at 350. I think before I was cooking everything at about 450. I'm going to turn it up. We're going to do 450 degrees. Why is this so loose? 425, 450 degrees. So we're gonna let this uh, run and cook because it is on. I can hear the the generator there struggling. 
don't know if you can hear that. It, it kind of went, uh, went down instead of running real high speed. So it's you making a lot of power right now. Because this is a 1300 watt, and you can see it's kind of reddish inside from the, the heating elements. It's like really lit. And supposedly convection, so it should be blowing in theory. You don't hear a fan blowing, but in theory it should be blowing the hot air. It should be circulating in there to cook the food faster. So that's the theory. Whether or not it's the reality, I don't know. If the convection doesn't work, then this isn't much better than the original toaster oven that I replaced. But, yeah, it was free, so I'm not going to complain about that. And we're going to let that sit and cook for a bit. I'll flip the meat, and then um, I should be able to eat this with the rice and have a nice, I guess, hamburger steak and rice dinner. So we're going to go ahead and pause for now until uh, it is done. In the meantime, I am going to go ahead and try to bring the computer back online. Let's see if we can get the computer online here. I do need to find my missing key for my keyboard. It's probably sitting in my van somewhere. So this is coming on right now. Oh, it's not, the screen's not coming on. Okay, the screen is now coming on. And this screen's not coming on. So I need to reset this. There's like a little button here that controls, um, well, that controls on and off. <laughs> let's turn it back on. Okay, so it's back on, but it's on analog. That's not the one we want. That's the one we wanted. Basically, we're going to go to HDMI input, and it's HDMI 2 on here. And that should bring my computer screen on. So I should be able to eat. I mean, I, I let the food there cook. Oh, that looks so nice and red. Look at it glowing red. It's glowing hot. So, while that is cooking, I'm going to go online and mess with the computer. It looks like we're not connected to the internet for some reason. So, it may be because this, this phone is supposed to be broadcasting. So, I'm not sure why it didn't connect. I'll have to double check that. But I'll go ahead and log on, mess with it, and then do part two where you can... Um, I'll show you the food and maybe do a little bit more talking. Maybe do a mukbang if you guys really want to see me eat that. But um, I don't have... Let's see, you see the generator. It's still running. It's just buzzing differently. I, it seems like it, it's going even slower, so that it might be pulling even more power. So this unit may be pulling a lot of power at this point. Or less, because it's not as red now. It um, The red went off. So maybe because... The heating element decided it didn't need to heat anymore. It turned down. So the the generator is running at less power. I think it, it adjusts depending on how much draw there is. And there it goes. And it, it just kicks back on. So I, I'm starting to learn how all this works. So stay tuned for part two where you get to see me eat this meal. I know it's not a big deal. But for me, it is fairly big because I'm using a toaster oven. That's 1,300 watts. And I can smell the food, so I'm going to try running my fan. This is a fan that should be sucking all that hot air. Hot air coming from there. Sucking it up and out of uh, the RV onto the side there. So, I finally got the fan working. I was working on it the other day. Uh, the control switch doesn't work at far speed, but at least it blows high. And it's sucking all the, the smell as well as the hot air out of here right now and blowing it outside. So this is all, you know, basically a test. <laughs> Not only a test, but an edible test. So stay tuned for part two. Goodbye now.